Hey everybody, uh, this is Sky Knight. Um, I intend on kind of making a video series about uh, taking just bone stock Debian and uh, turning into a nice, uh, nice little. Uh, desktop environment kind of kind of mimic what I have on the screen now uh, here is the obligatory neo fetch um, let's make it a little bigger that's control plus just control plus not work on kitty Let's see you off to a great start. Oh, da, da, okay. Um, yeah. Apparently, I've done this before. Um, control shift. Oh, control shift. Hey, how's that? That uh, does work. Neato. Uh, so yeah, basically going to uh, turn Bonestock Debian into a uh, functional thing uh, using BSWM and uh, some other random utils. Uh, first, let's start with uh, Network Manager. So I created a uh, Sky Debian here. Uh, just a quick overview of it. I gave it. Uh, about eight gigs of RAM, eight of my uh, eight threads, and just standard VertIO for video, uh, Spice server, uh, using my bridge networking. Yeah, uh, let's uh, start her up. Oh no, we don't want graphics. Let's do this. Uh, do this the old fun way. Okay, so English. I'm speaking English. If you weren't aware, here we go. Uh, for some parts like this, I might just uh, speed it up because it's a. Uh, I mean, there's, there's not really much I can say about this. It's doing IPv6 auto configuration. It's configuring with DHCP. That's. I mean, that's all I can do. Okay. Host name. Uh, I like to. Do everything that I do with a sky kind of name of the operating system, and in this case, it's a VM, so I'm going to do a VM. Uh, domain name will be skynight.com. Doesn't really matter what I put in there. I do have a uh, Nextcloud hooked up to my uh, domain name, but I mean, skynight.com isn't actually a thing. Uh, we do not want a root password. Apparently, a root password uh, or creating a root account in Debian is not advisable for security reasons. I don't know. I've gotten this from a bunch of YouTube uh, uh, videos that I've watched on Linux uh, over the past uh, about a year now. Actually, I think I've been rocking, rocking some form of Linux for about a year straight. Uh, started with, I uh, jumped right into it with uh, Arch Linux. Uh, that was okay. I didn't like updating every day, every couple days. It just seemed like a huge, uh, like a huge hassle. So I uh, jumped over to Debian, and I've been running Debian now for. I don't know, only about a month or two, but I mean, it's been fine. I don't know. I, it's been fine. Uh, so I guess here, uh, we're creating a user account now. Yep, that's fine. I would do just a simple like two letter password for this VM, but I'm sure that I wouldn't remember what it is even though it's two letters. So I'll just do my general thing. Okay. 
let's see, partition the disks. Um, I guess on the current system that I'm on, I am using an LVM, so let's turn this into an LVM as well. Yep, that's fine. Separate home. Uh, yep, that's fine. Configure the LVM, write everything to the disk. Sure, whole thing, why not? Make changes, write changes to disk, yes. And I mean that added a swap drive by kind of by default. I don't don't really need one because it's a VM, but I don't think it's only like a gig or two in size. And I don't think we're gonna come anywhere near installing the amount of packages that are gonna be needed to uh, update the amount of that anyway. There we go. I'll probably just uh, fast forward here until it's done. All right, asking if we want any to install any additional media. No, I don't. It's a VM. I don't have any weird stuff hooked up to it. No. Configure package manager. So United States, Debian.org. I don't have a proxy. Yeah, I just uh, past a week or so, I've been kind of getting the urge to try this whole YouTube thing out. So I figure, you know what? I kind of, I kind of like learning Linux and uh, figuring stuff out on my own. Uh, so we're kind of going to what is this? Popularity? No, they don't. I don't want to tell you what I'm doing. Um, okay, so here is the important part. So we're going to. We don't want GNOME. Don't even want the desktop environment. The only thing that we're gonna have is the standard system utils, and that's that's fine because we're going to install everything that we need on our own. I think it's going to end up with like 300 packages after the install or something crazy like that, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Just kind of jump into YouTube, you know, uh, and a big fan of a bunch of the YouTubers, uh, specifically the Linux YouTubers for a while now. And, uh, thought I'd throw my hat into the ring, see how, uh, See how it goes. And uh, UEFI. Sure. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's the only one. Oh. Although I imagine there's going to be a lot of new uh, Linux YouTubers after the LTT Linux videos. Yeah, they were all right. They were they were entertaining. I don't know. I uh, I do like to. Yeah. Well, that was actually all the way done. Booting into Debian. And here we are. This is stuck, standard, bone dry Debian. Oh man, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to uh, like find out how many packages I have installed without installing like a NeoFetch app, but I I don't want to go through that work right now. So we're just going to uh, install NeoFetch. Okay, oh, that's, let's see, 45 newly installed packages. Okay, so that's fine. So 45, so 373 minus 45. Oh, I'm not a math person 
but about 320 something 328 I don't know I'm not I, I've never been a fan of math but 328 uh, so this isn't going to go through the entire thing this is pretty much just installing Debian and getting the I guess the base layer set up I don't even think I'm gonna install uh, the Xorg server yet for this uh, but one thing that I absolutely do want to do is probably need to install Vim. Is Vim a thing? Vim is not a thing. Okay, let's install Vim. Oh, yeah, I like Vim uh, mainly because I forced myself to use it because I thought it would be a fun challenge to do. And that's pretty much all I use for... Uh, editing config files and stuff like that inside of uh, Linux. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to change uh, sources. Yeah, sources list. I'm going to change this from, um, what's the word for it? I don't know, whatever, uh, whatever the not testing branch is. I mean, we're not going to the unstable branch either. Uh, just bumping up the testing. Uh, but so we're the stable. So we're getting off the stable branch so that we can get you know somewhat newer packages on the testing branch. Uh, so not bullseye. We want testing. Uh, we want main. We want contrib, and we want non-free. Non hyphen free, non hyphen free. There we go. And same thing for this line. Testing, contrib, non free. And then these lines we just need to comment out. Uh, da, da, da. That looks right to me. We gotta update all of our packages. Okay, sudo apt update. That's why. Oh no, upgrade. And sudo apt dist upgrade. I actually couldn't tell you what the difference between upgrade and a dist upgrade is. Left from right, I remember this is uh, in the docs to uh, in the Debian documentation when you're upgrading to the testing branch, uh, you want to do things in that order. Because reasons, I guess. Okay, there are services installed. Do you want to restart? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and restart them. I guess I could just restart the virtual machine anyway. It'll take three seconds to do, but oh well. And I'll just skip forward to the end of this, I think. Okay, that took longer than I anticipated, actually. Um, so let's see, we clear, uh, do it under NeoFetch. We are now up to 435 packages. So, I don't know, it's more. It's not a lot more. I mean, we're still under 500 packages. We're using 142 megs of RAM right now. Um, yeah. I think that's where I will stop this one. Uh, probably get X installed for the next one. Maybe a web browser, a couple terminal utilities, stuff like that. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, I'm Sky Knight. Have a good one.